Hello everybody, Mikey Dear Panzanator here with Hearts of Iron 4. We've uh, designed some front lines and deployed some armies. Yes, I call this the Asia Army because it's an army that's going to be in Asia. Y'all are smart. Y'all should be able to get that one. Um, anyhow, so what we've done is we've sent the Marines, so we've sent the Marines to take over Cuba. Because uh, I fully expect them to be part of the war. We've sent the Mountaineers and Paratroopers to take care of Ethiopia. We've sent the Fast Boys to take care of all of Spain's random crap all over the place. Um, Equatorial Guinea, and then this, and then whatever the hell this is. CD, if any, or whatever. We have a Yellow Army to secure this. Gibraltar needs more troops. Algiers is there. And then we have the Orange Army ready to close up in Libya. We're going to lose Gibraltar. We need to put more troops in Gibraltar. Okay, what am I... What troops could I possibly spare and send to Gibraltar? I mean, maybe Marines? Oh, no. This is... Alright, this is what we're going to do. Y'all are currently going to invade from here. Let's not do that. Let's have you... Let's have this. Delete that order. Okay. Let's actually have the... Ooh, jet airplanes. Let's have the Marines secure Spanish North Africa. And we need to take Quita. And then let's have this army come here. And secure everything south of this river to Valencia. Okay. So we have some strategic bombers. Not strategic. Jet bombers. Jet tactical bombers. Okay. So let's do this. Where are normal? Let's put them here. Do like this. Set, set it to where we reinforce our tactical bombers, but we crank out all of the new ones. We crank out our venom. So what we'll do is if we notice our tactical bomber stock getting low, we'll just delete tactical bombers and switch to the jets, and that'll be good. Okay. Don't think this blue army... We'll have enough to take care of that, but I uh, guess we're not going to fortify Asia. Ooh, yeah, War with Italy. Let's do that. Mediterranean Bastion. Start going down that path. I don't know if we're like telling them to build stuff, telling our guys to build stuff. Well, first of all, we're trying to get a bunch more resources because it's like, you need more aluminum, and I'm like, yeah, I do need more aluminum. That is, that is correct. That is correct. Um, we have our parachute group over here. Let's send our parachute group up to up north and scap a flow. So we have our home fleet. Also, we are just running just a humongous navy. And it's like, yeah, your point. <laughs> Yeah, the name's big. Uh, what do you want us to do about it? All right, advanced landing craft. Very nice. So our navy kind of isn't all that. Three jet tactical bombers. Okay. Um, we have a lot of bonuses. Naval mission. Let's uh, get some air doctrine to support all of that. We need some more iron, some more steel. Hmm. So we're almost as strong in terms of military factories as the Greater German Reich. So that's decent news. All right, so we're gonna put you into here. And we'll assign you later. But for now, one, two, yes, three, four. Yes, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Boom! Modern tanks. Okay. Now we need to get one. We need to get the infantry. Get 24 of these. Okay. New army. Um, the orange. Go here. Assign a new commander. We did, I think we, like, one of the natural focuses we did got us more commanders because it did. Um, maybe I should read the natural focuses before I do them or when I do them to know, like, actually what I get. That might help. That's too easy. So there we go. That's, give me your job. Good luck, pal. All right, so what else? New uh, mechanized army. So let's put you down here. Let's make them orange so you'll be red. Do we have any panzer leaders? Negative ghost riders, so we'll just go with the next best guy. And what you're gonna do is so you're gonna be set to go right here and to take them to take out. Imperial Kwong Bava territories. There we go. So have fun. Enjoy your trip to China. The game is yelling at me like, there's no supplies, like, everywhere. Yeah, I know. We're, we're moving vast numbers of troops all over the world. This sort of thing is bound to happen. Okay. Air warfare, air doctrine, research speed. Land doctrine. I feel like let's just go with this guy, and from here on out, let's um, develop all of our resources. Let's get it done, get some resources, could always declare an American monarchy if we wanted to. I'm not going to. Bristol Bowfighter is what? Oh, that's the... Uh, Another heavy one. Let's get the Mosquito then. Mosquito FB. Keep getting our heavies. All good. All good. So, in terms of tanks, still have a deficit of modern tanks. I would like to convert a lot of our army at some point in the near future hopefully soon soon if possible please okay oh wait this army you know yeah you need to be good on here it's all the same order though and change it to the ace because that's what we do with our motorized groups let's see we need steel. So let's uh, expand some steel. And the Gloucester Meteor. Field hospitals. Good. I do want to get better naval bombers because... Well, it's the future. Let's get the Meteor. And what we'll do is we'll put the Meteor right next to the Spiteful. Get 75 of those, and like that. Okay. There we go. Get ourselves some jet fighters. So even despite taking out basically the rest of the world, the Axis is still stronger than us. But we're a human player, so we should be able to take them out, being very strategic with what we do. I do want to basically, like, who? Is that this guy? Oh, it's this guy. This guy's sick. Well, sorry. Yeah, we'll be able to, like, blast through here. My main concern is the naval war. Because aren't ships? 
I don't know what qu quality of ships the um, the uh, Axis have been manufacturing, but quantity they're doing all right. So we're we're we're, um, we're going to develop steel. Got to get our Mediterranean Bastion, and we'll use yeah we'll we'll go to war with Italy because Italy is the dumb one. Invade the Greece uh, for the Italy. Uh. So, get these radar stations in, like, Malta. Got to defend all of this. So, there we go. Ready. Oh, boy. Got to get another infantry army going. 20, 21, 2, 24. There we go. Put it down here. Let's make it uh, yellow. Yellow. It was all yellow, and the Shangzi, whatever this state. So we'll try and crush them. And modern tank. Ooh, well, Marines. Ready to move. Listen up. So there we go. Eight. And you are the ones assigned here. All right, let's put two more over here. Get ready to invade Cuba. Why invade Cuba? Cuba produces chromium and exports it. Let's see if we look at chromium. Where's Cuba? Not exporting any chromium. Uh, apparently, Germany produces enough chromium on its own. Probably from. Oh, it's the Turkish Empire. That's why. That's why. So, uh. Still more steel. There we go. So, is this just from troops moving around, or is this actually a. Alright, Mediterranean Bastion. Protect Suez. Let's get some better infrastructure here. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. So we have our timetable. We'll use the focuses to get us into the war. Have a lot of troops all over the world. Gibraltar just want to hold Gibraltar. We have a lot of troops in Gibraltar. And we do have some nuclear weapons. Our words are backed by nuclear weapons. <laughs> Can we... Oh, also we do need to assign a commander here. Can we put this like here? And maybe just close the map? There we go. Everybody's looking great we can do all of this then operation husky and then operation overlord that's what I want to do, I want to do a simultaneous husky overlord push through Spain and then push through Turkey so that is my goal OH IO <laughs> we're taking advantage of all the American <laughs> war and stuff have we even gotten all the excavation technology? we have, we have, okay so there we go. We also need to deploy more of an air force. But I'll probably do that bef between episodes. Still. Germany. Okay, we're catching up. We're catching up. So we could probably... Hmm. Let's pick on the weaker link. So like I said, I want a strategic bomb, Turkey... And then, well, maybe not strategically bomb Turkey. Maybe this is a weak point. If we push up to the to the to Gallipoli, basically, and then push through to the Caucasus and take away their oil, Germany might just fold like a, the paper tiger they are. Let's continue expanding steel. 
Let's do it. Okay. There we go. So, back to... Yeah, back to our garrison. Alright, the albacore. Let's get the barracuda. Let's assign all of these. All these troops. They're just guards somewhere within the Empire. You never know. There's plenty of places across the world that need... Uh, some British protection. We finally have better naval bombers after Lord knows how long. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna dedicate our fighters to strategic bombing of Germany. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna strategically, we're gonna strategic, strategically bomb. We're going to use strategic bombing to damage the German heartland. Tactical bomber, strategic bombing. Yes, please. Okay. So hopefully we'll get more steel from all of this. More military factories eventually catch up to them, defeat them, crush them, make them suffer. Cartago, Dolinda. Should we nuke Tunis to just, you know, get rid of Carthage? This army? Is this one? I'm going to tell y'all to at least... No, not... Oh, wait, not you. What about this army? I'm going to tell you to... Um, secure Turkey. Like there. So no more... Yeah, more steel. Let's do it. Get more resources. Get more steel. Because, uh... Well, we can't let our warship production suffer at all, can we? No, we cannot. How many... Okay, so we do have some modern tanks. Yes, sir. Infantry, infantry. Switch you to a modern tank. That's what we want to do. We want to start switching some of these guys. Make them a little more powerful. There we go. Also, do we want to get the self-repelled versions at some point? Maybe. Maybe soon. So there we go. Switching people to modern tanks. Alright, so that is our last heavy fighter variant. Let's get the carrier fighter. Firefly. Get more heavy fighters. Don't know exactly how many we'll use, but there we go. Um, and we will expand our aluminum production because I want to spend a lot of our factories, uh, or dedicate a lot of our factories to an air force. So there we go with all of these. That's nine. Do we still have nine, ten, eleven? To, oh, well, yeah, twelve. There we go, so that's that. Let's get the parachute guy over here. There we go. So we have some low supplies all over the world. Yeah, you need to upgrade. There we go. And then let's just kind of get more, just get more infrastructure all over the world. Um, our fast boys will quickly crush a lot of the Spanish resistance. So there we go. And, uh, well, running a bit over time, but I feel confident that we will be able to defeat the Axis in a major war perhaps maybe maybe not the home defense fleet all we need to do is make sure they don't end up around here we need to mine the ever-living crap out of everything 
and use naval bombers. Also, we have a lot of rock. Oh, we need to get the better rocket tech. Yes. Yeah, we need to get the advanced rocket technology so we can use rockets to aid with our strategic bombing of Germany. Because I feel like Italy doesn't have a whole lot. So wait, we're, we're getting very off topic. Open country list, major countries in the Axis. So the Kwang... Tung territories are a major power, but but Spain and Italy, I feel like we should be able to dispatch of relatively easily. You know, just Italy. First of all, we secure Africa, and then do Operation Husky and push forward from here. Maybe do an Overlord to distract the German army in France. Then once we take them out, push through in Turkey. I feel like we can make most of their allies capitulate relatively, relatively quickly. But uh, anyways, hope you all enjoy this episode. Uh, get ready for World War like 7 at this point. I mean, it's not really World War 7. The way I've thought about this series is that it's just been a lot more smaller wars instead of one gigantic war. But anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Special thanks to our subscribers as well as our patrons. And I hope to see everybody in the next episode. Until then, this is Mikey Derpanzinator, signing out. See you, nerds.